and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Draven Control, a new way to play Draven. Played against this kind of deck a couple of times over the last few weeks, and it's always looked pretty impressive, and so I want to give it a try myself. Uh, basically, instead of playing Draven with the hopes of killing the opponent super fast, which basically every time we play Draven, it's always been with a very aggressive deck, we're playing a slower deck, slower control deck with a lot of removal, you know, Mystic Shots, Get Excited, uh, Noxion Guillotine, Static Shock, lots of removal in here. Um, and be, and with that, we can get Ezreal um, and win, win the game in the, the late game with Ezreal. So we're trying to target our enemy units a lot. The whole reason to play uh, Draven is because Draven can get us a lot of extra cards. It gets us all these spinning axes. Um, you know, it generates every time you play or any time it strikes, you get to generate a spinning axe. And so those spinning axes can give you extra cards. So, you you know, like you're get excited, you get to discard it. Um, or just like rummage, you know, like if you get these extra um, spinning axes, you can rummage them away, draw new cards. Um, you know, so they give you like these extra cards that you just get to, to use with different stuff. Our deck, we're playing the full three progress day. That's our top end. Uh, to keep refilling and uh, you know keep refilling our hand, especially since basically everything you know everything costs four or less mana, so you know, it's a pretty uh, low low to the ground deck. We get Arachnoid Sentry is um, our new Ice Veil Archer for this kind of deck. You know get to play it, stun an enemy. You know that's another target for Ezreal, um, and uh, playing a couple House Spiders just get some. Some early chump blockers, same with jury rig. We can discard these and uh, get some some chump blockers, help stay alive, and finish them with Ezreal. All right, so let's check out this deck. Let's let's try playing it over in ranked. First time trying it out. I think it'll I think it'll go pretty good. So we don't need Ezreal immediately. I don't think I really want the rummage with what we had in hand either. Oh no, this would have been great for rummage. This would have been great for rummage also. Can I get that rummage back? That's all right. We'll get extra cards from either Draven or Chumpwomp to be able to discard or get excited. It's Draven time. It's Draven time. By my honor, you must die. Oh no, it's a ward. Hmm. I was really considering, basically what, what I was thinking about, I was really considering using the Spinning Axe, discarding Jury Rig to put it onto the Draven to get Draven to have it strike with the Spinning Axe once. Because, you know, like, try to get Draven towards leveling up. I certainly considered that. See all of it. One shot, all skill. Let's do this. So 
So the easy play is obviously cast this Mystic Shot that we just um, that we just made, but they want me to cast the Mystic Shot, and then they were going to use all all their mana that they had afterwards, and so I just. Um, So instead, I just passed the turn and, and made them waste all that mana. Because we're already in a good spot. By my honor, you must die. Oh no, as a ward. I'm only gonna have one man after this. Hmm. I wish I didn't play this chump lump right about now. You hoping they'll die of boredom? Yeah. Think they will. These woods protect their own. Keeper, our lands need us. I mean, I guess I could could have Mystic Shot and then guillotined the Fiora. I find them unworthy. Can't just give Fiora another barrier before this happens. Really, Cling Strike? You a little late. As the so has the possibility of going wrong. All right, so Draven just struck with the Whirling Death, and now Draven will strike again. So Draven will level up because he struck twice with the spinning axe. That's what I. So basically, I, I discarded the. Um, you like we didn't need that extra point of damage, so I basically just discarded um, the Noxian Guillotine to get Draven to level up. So they miss, so they're going to have Shen or the Caretaker on top. Raise the banner. Lift our spirits. Why would they even play the other one? Alright, so basically with that game, I think I played the Ezreal too early. 
I shouldn't have played the Ezreal when I did. That's why I regret about that game. That was a, a learning moment. I think I played it too early. Normally this would be quite a good hand, but not really against Karma Ezreal. Culling Strike can get excited. You know, get excited can can kill either Karma or Ezreal, but still, it's not like we need those immediately. I kind of just wanted to get a new hand. <laughs> yeah, opponent had a brain fart. Last game, it happens. Hmm. Very good against aggressive decks here. Not good against control. The hand I'm speaking of. If you lose this, it proves that Karma Ezreal is the best combo. <laughs> well, I think there is like an... 80% chance we lose this game right now. Our hand was very anti-aggro. We mulliganed and we got another more anti-aggro hand. But also, like, my, my, all right, I'm just going to discard that other thing and draw. I contend that Karma plus, like, the Karma Thresh is the best version of Karma. So I'm not sure how losing with, with this deck would mean that their karma deck is the best. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I have the best job. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. I really want to level up Draven because Draven as as a, a four four is a whole lot different than Draven as a three three against the Get Excited deck. It's just if I if I would have spinning axed there and then they would have um, and then they would have had to get excited. That would have been quite a feels bad. They're not good cards to draw. Put on me mask, secure me tail, stop the day. That'd be a great card to draw, Chump Womp, that's a good one. That's a good one to draw, too. I'll do what must be done.
Yeah, you would think. Yeah, I agree. I can agree with that. That whenever Ezreal pops up and shows progress, that it should show how much progress. We're at three out of eight. They're at six out of eight. That's a lot. Face your fate. Yeah, I agree. Seems like a easy thing to do. No, this this deck that I've this deck plays a good amount of Yones. I've seen a good amount of Yones in the deck we're playing against. Gets two triggers with Ezreal. This is gonna hurt for you. At the end of the day, it's just like them using a removal spell on the Draven. I think it's better to, to block instead of if, if we don't block, me, then they get, you know, random spell from me. I don't think that's as good. What's Ezreal's other spell? Oh yeah, Mystic Shot. Me, Mushrooms. Show yourself! We got a long ways to, to go to level up our Ezreal there. Ezreal is leveled up. So 10 mana, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Time for the main. Awesome. 
out grinded them. That progress day was pretty nice. This deck's pretty sweet. It's Draven time. Hmm. Same deck we just played, right? Didn't we just play as as Karma? Yeah, they just never had Karma or Ezreal. They didn't play either of their champions ever. That makes life easier. Maybe they played... They may have played a Karma that we killed. So one thing I'm considering doing here pretty soon, or just, you know, considering trying, I wanted y'all's opinion on it, is here in, uh, um, and, and, you know, people on YouTube, let me know also. I think it's, considering instead of playing the music like I do on a stream currently, uh, playing the, the game you know, the game music, the Legends of Runeterra game music, because it's, it's pretty decent, but then having the, the game music means that I would be able to post it to YouTube with music, so maybe the, you know, the YouTube videos wouldn't be as quiet, and maybe more enjoyable for everybody on YouTube. What would y'all think here in Twitch chat if instead of me playing my playlist, I was playing just playing the regular Legends of Runeterra music? One thing we we gotta worry about getting too many cards in hand. That's something we gotta worry about. Master. Don't blink or you miss me. Or be better just to give them these mushroom clouds. Sure. Like they're gonna draw a lot of cards. You could just draw into all this extra damage with these. Hey boo. Alright, so yeah, Super Monkey says that he thinks that I should play the playlist. Yeah, boot, I was I was Going good. I was just kind of talking about how I may want to, you know, I've been thinking about um, instead of, yeah, we'll play Chump Wong. Instead of my, me playing my playlist on stream, I may just playing the, the Legends of Runeterra music, which is probably overall a downgrade. You know, it's, it's a downgrade here on, on Twitch. But I think it would be a, a pretty good upgrade for YouTube to have music and not be as quiet. And I'm thinking that maybe that downgrade on Twitch may be worth the upgrade on YouTube. Of having just the, the regular in-game music, which is pretty decent. It's not it's not bad. Um 
No rescue, I, I don't anymore. I've been playing this game, Legends of Runeterra, instead. A game that I that I really recommend if you're a Magic player. If you've never heard of Legends of Runeterra, haven't checked it out. I wrote a few weeks ago why I've been playing this game instead. And I hope you check it out. All right, we're going to... So if I just give them all these mushrooms, we have what? We have four mana left. And then we can thermogenic beam. All right. It's not too bad. Hey, good looking. Back at you. Ooh, three puff caps. These can add up. They just need to take 12 more damage. Those can add up. Especially, like, we're both drawing a decent amount of cards and everything. Six out of eight for Ezreal. <laughs> All right, let's done this. Bleh. So I want to kill Ezreal first, because otherwise Ezreal will transform whenever this resolves. real busy at work today yeah it's probably just gonna keep getting busier and busier have you been seeing coronavirus stuff at work so getting that extra noxious guillotine that you can uh discard you know like that you can play you could actually get to discard that which is really sweet Thinking about thermogenic beaming this. It only does two damage to it, though. I'll just pass. Five positive cases in the last two days and one fatality so far. Oh, man. So, yeah, I wasn't sure if you were that part of the hospital that... That would deal with that or not. Ouch. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Can't stop me. So 
four times to target them. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so yeah, you're running the test down there in the lab. The bad news is that that does double their spells as far as Ezreal goes, but the good news is they are now down to um, three mana for now. The safer play, Sige Mister. Thank you, Boot. Sige Mister, getting the sum. The safer play is to have both of these things kill the Ezreal, and then I stay at six. Um. But then it's like, how am I doing the last five points of damage? The not as safe play is just let this happen, go down to two. Basically put us both down to two. We'll get rid of Ezreal. So Ezreal's gone. They have to have like a mystic shot to kill me. give them the opportunity to, if they have a mystic shot that they play theirs first and then I respond because they have, they have to worry about if they just go straight to draw step like they are you know likely taking one damage There we go. Take the damage. Win. It's just risky casting to get excited and then they mystic shot in response. Just pretty risky. Alright, so we're 3 0. Alright, so we had here. Okay, Monkey said, Legend of Tears is the first card game I've played. I don't know anything about MTG or Hearthstone. I'm a league player for 10 years. Can you explain briefly how MTG works? Um, yeah, maybe... Uh, yeah. I guess I talk about the differences. If you if you read this thing, Super Monkey, I talk about the differences in, in that... Google Doc. 
Um, as you know, some people in chat are, are saying different things. Um, I don't, yeah, see, I don't actually agree with the it's more complicated. It has a lot higher, it has a lot more cards. But I feel like the, the gameplay of this is is more complicated to play in, in my opinion. A lot of a lot of games of magic are very straightforward. There's a lot of like you know non games with, with the man and everything. Um, yeah, it would yeah, it's much it's much deeper. Yeah, it's much deeper. It has so much history and, and so like that. Like it, it has, you know, twenty years of, of sets and cards and everything, and so there's yeah, there's a lot more. Um, there's a lot more history to it, and and there's, uh, yeah, deeper is a good word. If you think of like all, if you you know if you're you know you're, you've been playing Legends of Runeterra, you think about all the cards on Legends of Runeterra. Imagine, imagine that many cards times four, and that's one year, and then multiply that times twenty six. <laughs> And that's, that's like how many cards that there have been in like the history of magic, basically. Yeah, I, I do not miss the mana part of magic. I, I agree. I, I, I follow you anywhere. do not miss that either. Let's see. So Culling Strike kills a creature power three or less. But it's instant speed. I, I want to keep Culling Strike for Iceborne Legacy and stuff like that. I'm just going to use the Thermogenic Beam right now. Paralyzing Bite. Because of like the huge card pool and different, uh, how you can play as many different colors as you want, and and like that part of the mana, like you you can have just a a very wide variety, like even a, a wider variety of of decks with Magic, I mean, especially with the card pool. But but yeah, just the number of non games in Magic. There's just it's a staggering amount of games that's just uh, determined by who who hits their land drops or just who has more mana. What's really annoyed me about about Magic in in uh, especially in the recent year is the amount of ramp that's available and easy to access and uh, so efficient. Um, and ramp means like there's there's a lot of ways to to gain more mana than the opponent. There's a lot of spells that increase your your mana. And so like while it's like turn like there's games like where it's turn five and one person has five mana because it's turn five and the other person has like twelve mana. And it's just not it's not a comparable situation in, in that respect. Excuse you. And that was getting increasingly frustrating to be like, oh yeah, they have Nissa and just all their mana is doubled, and there's Hydro Crisis. Yay, this is fun. You just can't play any other kind of mid range strategy. That's a great Blade's Edge. Great blade touch. Yeah, wilderness reclamation, fires of invention. Yeah, like those are those just shouldn't be printed. Like that's you shouldn't have some people be able to double up their mana that you know so early and everything. It's just not not how gameplay should be. But they kept printing those cards and never learned. me. 
yeah, I, I think this is really exciting to play creatures on your opponent's turn, like your turn, quote unquote. You know, like their attack, the turn they're attacking. Though we just get to go back and forth. Um, that thing's tough. I guess it's Draven time. If their last card's, you know, it's just Atrocity is the card that I can't deal with. That's the card that's going to kill me, is Atrocity. Six mana. So I'm going to cast two of these things. No sweat. Got an axe with your name on it. Yeah, I mean, basically, I can't, I can't survive against Atrocity. There's not really a way for me to beat that card stuff, but could you maybe right now. Speed things up a little? Atrocity is, for those of you who play Magic, is Fling. So they have they they have a six mana Fling in their deck that they they have that you know they get to Fling this they who endure. And I'm not going to be able to stop that. Hey Blade. If they don't have Atrocity, we kind of have a chance. Chance-ish. I don't miss. You have to get me out of here. Oh no. Alright, so I have to kill I have to cast nine spells before they do damage this next turn. I have to cast nine spells. That's not gonna be easy. Well, I guess make it eight, because that thing dealt two damage. So we got to cast five more. i um, going to end the round here, so we can bank this three mana to help pay for a progress day. Oh, that was great, that rummage. That's perfect. Rummage is perfect. Yeah, we got this. So we can just cast these spinning axes, actually. And those are burst speed. Guess we didn't really even need the rummage. We just basically needed any any spell. Actually, we had that very easily, huh? Dude, Draven Control. Draven Control is crushing him. Um, I prefer Ezreal Draven more than Ezreal Karma. I think Karma is better in, um, I think the best Karma deck is, is with Shadow Isles. Yeah, 
Yeah, so like the, the Karma Thresh deck that we're going to be playing later on, that's my favorite Karma deck. They have nothing turn one or turn two with the Lucian Z deck. Yeah, we don't have life gain. No, Correct. So we may end it. Let's boogie. You're also a big braggart. Always talking about. I'm the blade in the darkness. It's just... You just walk down a dark alley. There you hear Zed's, Zed's voice. I am the blade in the darkness. It's like, come on, Zed. We know. You don't have to brag about it. Your alarm goes off in the morning. I am the blade in the darkness. I know, Zed. Let me go get to the wall, turn the light switch on. Get out of here. Just never shuts up about it. Well, so far so good for Draven Control, 5-0. and oh. Ash Lucian. What's up, Zuvar? Happy Sunday. Does this still feel like, see, for me, my my life has not changed hardly at all with the coronavirus stuff. Like, it's it's not changed. Like, this is, you know, my life has basically been the same. But for y'all, is there, like, a, a big noticeable, noticeable difference now between weekends? Like, does this still feel like a Sunday? Like, Sunday's how weekends used to feel? Or does this just feel like another day? I don't know. What's... Like, if I say happy Sunday, like, does it does it matter that Sunday anymore? I don't know. Y'all have to keep me updated with how life's like. <laughs> I've been training for this for years. Don't fear the dark. Yeah, doing real good with the Draven Dravenez deck. Dravenez. It's Draven time. In a world full of monsters, I'm glad I have you. That'll never change. That does make things a little more annoying. Let's do this. Is Draven like the Kool-Aid man? Busting through the room? It's Draven time. Batter him. Missed your chance to run. No one goes hungry. <laughs> Everything's different for you because college is closed and you can't go outside. 
this shows my th main things I'm out of state right now. I've been going back to see my allergist, but I haven't been back for almost a month. Haven't been back to like where you normally live in almost a month now. Usually go every week or two is probably need to suck it up and make the trip soon. Golden guy says, okay. Flavor, it's spice. Dang. Uh, Golden guy says, I think the biggest thing for most people is the change in work money. Yeah. Yeah. In a world full of money, Gosh. They just never, they never stop coming. Never stop playing stuff. So next turn's gonna be turn six. If I bank this three mana and if I play progress day, we only have one extra mana left over. What do you think is better now, Karma Ezreal or FJ Ezreal? FJ Ezreal. What's what's FJ Ezreal? Freljord? I don't know. You're out to Freljord Ezreal? What are you waiting for? Or Karma? I'm not sure honestly. I don't I don't have a lot of experience with either of those decks to be honest. Um Yeah, since the patch I haven't played either of those decks, so yeah, I, I don't know what's better. To be honest there. It's kinda hoping for like a mystic shot. Got axes, need victims. You're covered. There we go, that's a good card. Feel the sizzle. My steel is yours. In the name of our land. Good, I'm glad they didn't pump up the Lucian. I know, right? If only Poros were S tier. Yeah, our driving control deck doing great. Whoops. Undo that. Lucian! Lucian. We are farther away from activating this Ezreal than I thought. Oh, I blocked the wrong thing, because then this doesn't count as a damaged ally, does it? I blocked the wrong thing.
Yeah, I did. Yeah, I enjoyed that that chill stream yesterday. Yeah, I thought that was a lot of fun. Did y'all like watching some Animal Crossing? Let's see, so I got five mana. Cast this. And then cast Noxian Guillotine. Ugh. This is going to be difficult. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? Not really. 5, 10, 14, 15. So I'm looking right now going down to one with this next attack and also losing my Ezreal. down to one. <laughs> Need to be able to cast that a bunch. Over hamster getting the gift it's uh thank you blade Bringing our hype boats out. Oh, these things aren't going to be damaged. Oh, this is a huge problem. Because they're pumped up by Scythria, so I do one damage to these things. They're not actually going to be damaged. Um... That was the perfect draw. We've gotten a couple of subs this this stream. We've gotten two. So I should update that. Two subs. That was just the perfect draw. That was exactly what we needed. Yeah, now we should be able to kill them just just fine. Ezreal is ridiculous. GG's. Yeah, that was lethal once you drew that Ezreal. Especially they didn't have a removal spell for it. Dang. Stole a game there. Still undefeated, 6-0. and oh. 
We've never gone 10-0 in Masters. We've gone 9-1. Never gone 10-0 in a 10-game stretch. Say only only as Karma can do 20 damage in a single turn. This our deck can do 20 damage in a single turn with Ezreal, with all with like these spinning axes and everything. This deck could do 20. Well, it's it's hard to show you because we we don't really ever have to do 20, but. Um, if you, like two games ago, if you have seen like like the turn that we had with with Ezreal like two two turns ago, I think we did fourteen, I think, but we still had a good amount of cards in hand that we could have cast more. We could have cast another three spells, I think. Uh, I want like don't want House Spider. Maybe I'll just keep this to go with the Get Excited. And we'll get rid of the House Spider. Yeah, it looks like elusives. Um, so the house spider is probably not doing a, a great job blocking for us. I can block that thing. It's kind of difficult because like that's like a card that I don't want to thermogenic beam at all. But if they have Navori Conspirator, which they do, I'll regret not killing that thing. And so now I regret not killing that thing. Says you. We haven't seen any creatures that they've pumped with Omenhawk yet. Dang. Elixir of Iron's a good card against me. That could be the card that wins this game for them. That could be the card that wins this game for us. It's not my plan to right now, Davey Dema. Um. Looking for a daring escape. Don't don't have any plan to as of right now. It's a big conspirator. 
Seriously? Stop. It's a good draw. That can kill the 4-4. Yeah, obviously I wish I wish I could have killed the four four instead of the three three, but at least we gotta keep them at ten. This is a close one. This is a close game for sure. I can see this going either way. With just what we know, we're we're not in a bad spot, but of course they have those two cards. We don't know what those two cards are. Cuz they can't they can't really play this card. So if they play this, they bounce the other one. That's a great card. So that's Hmm. Speaking of great cards. Uh, do I want to get rid of the rummage? Keep the mushroom cloud? Definitely drew very well there. I know a way. The party has arrived. Arrived. This Noxian Guillotine is going to be so good. I wonder what that last card is. Right now, they're just thinking if they have to block. I'm assuming that what they're thinking about is if they have to block Draven or not. Aruru. 
in the biz, this is what we call a blowout. Kill a damaged unit, you may cast this again. Kill a damaged unit, you may cast this again. Now the thing is, is that doesn't mean that we win, because they could draw a three power evasive, elusive unit. Hopefully not. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me! Wow. So, they hit the Omenhawk first, give the plus the top two allies in their deck plus one, plus one. So that means this Blade Scout was one of the top two. Wow, what a draw. We gotta get really lucky here. Gotta get a removal spell. Removal. We did it. Kill a unit three or less power, but I actually will just stun this and get another unit in play. Three life blade. Let's kill that. Okay, so I can knock just guillotine that thing right now, but I'm not going to yet. We're going to just save that. Because then if they draw a larger creature here... Say the drew, drew a larger creature would be able to mystic shot it and then still before damage noxious guillotine it. But yeah, it's a, it's over now. Ooh, seven and zero. Oh. Closing in on the mark. You're between me and glory. That was so close. What a game. What a game. All right, seven to no. Moving on and still winning. This Draven control deck is sweet. I wouldn't really say that's exactly what happened. The uh, that game was really, really close. All right, as karma. Do I want to keep one rummage? No, we'll just send them all back for now. Yeah. 
Yeah, the free discard fodder from, from the axes has been awesome. All, all these free axes that we get to discard, rummage away and everything. And then and then also it just gives us, you know, free spells to cast for with Ezreal. You know, whenever Ezreal flips and you need all those spells, well, we got zero mana spells to play. <laughs> Kem Punk must die. Uh, I lost that card once, never again. <laughs> I got ways to find me in the mushroom. Yeah, it's it's very good once it connects for sure. Last time I played this matchup, I just cast these mushroom clouds. Time for the main event. And how like this game goes longer, it, it did help me. Ugh. Well, that's annoying. Yeah, that's annoying. I don't know what I want to do if I want to block. I don't know if I want to block or not. If I don't block, they get a random spell from my deck. They get to draw one of those. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. Yeah, not sure if Lucian and Senna are the only two with double attack. They may be. They're the only two that I can just think of off the top of my head. Anybody else thinking of any any other cards? That could be it. All right, BJJ says they're the only two. Maximus, you are welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks for the resub. Two awesome months. 
keeping that Twitch Prime going. Let's see. Let's. Um, so obviously, Static Shock is my best card to play. Um, I'll just play it. It allows me to still have three mana for Get Excited for a Karma or an Ezreal. Nine mana. I think we're behind this game. That would have been a nice card to to have resolved that static shock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I play this, we'll have nine. If I play this, then they could play Karma or Ezreal, and I don't have removal for those two right away. Is that okay? Ezreal, it's definitely fine. Karma, though, it's okay if I can't kill Karma right away. Do what must be done. Yo nay, 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 yo nay. All right, as is fully fully leveled up. All right, Sage Mister. We'll check you later. I thought you'd never ask. They don't know what they're up against. Hey, good looking. Back at you. Hmm. Obstacle, meet gauntlet. I, I still have like the backup Ezreal. So we're still good there. Fifteen. Show me mask, secure me tail, start the day. Yep. Oh, that's a harvest right there. 
down to 11. And we're going to untap. We'll have another Ezreal and another Chumplump. Yeah, it gets more damage. Down to 10. That'll be 7 mana. And then I can play all three of these Mushroom Clouds to do 6. Put them down to 4. Just passed, huh? Hey, good looking. Back at you. Oh yeah, I should have played all these these mushroom clouds because they were drawing a card. Should have just played all those. I basically need them to get one more mushroom. No, 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 no they're just dead, right? Because this this is six damage right here, and then the get excited is the other three. They can have deny though for the get excited. Yeah, I am also very glad there's no hexproof in this game. Turu. Obstacle, meet gauntlet. Well, that's kind of a problem. Well, that's kind of a problem. Should not have attacked. I didn't think I couldn't think of any like bad reason not to attack, but I guess we found one. Come on, draw some mushrooms. Puff caps? Darn. I get those puff caps. So they have one card that's not. It's time. They have one. They have one card. How are they supposed to deal with both of these with one card? Basically, playing the Draven so I get the spinning axe to discard the spinning axe. Boom. Eight and O. Oh. Tenno Dream still alive. Ezreal is insane. Ezreal is insane. Man. Talk about a good card right there. Karma, Lux, Control, or Midrange? Control. You want to play a late game with Karma and Lux. You're not, don't want to play. You're not going to be like the beatdown. If we go 10 out of the deck, we have to just keep going. We're facing a lot of this Karma Ezreal. This is going to be our fourth time to face Karma Ezreal. Uh, I'll keep a progress day. Keep Mystic Shock because I keep on having this 2 mana 3 2. The pickpocket. Of course. We keep Mystic Shot because of it. Draw two more Mystic Shots. They have no pickpockets. Seems 
All right, so we could play uh, Progress Day next turn, five plus three, but let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, we draw that card seven. I guess that would just only bump us up to 10 cards. So we could just do that. I'll play this thing. Well, we have to we have to try to win our ninth in a row before we can start talking about what we're going to do if we get 10-0. Got to try to win this one first. Wow. Love it. Trading a thermogenic beam for a stupid spider. I will take it. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. So that's what playing the Mystic Shot first did. It kind of put the priority on them so that if they did have a Karma, we still we kill the Karma. If not, we played the Draven. If I play the Draven first, then they'll just have then they'll just wait for me to go to combat. Down to 12. So we'll have two mana left after our progress day. Those are not cards to cast. <clears throat> No, they discarded a pickpocket. I want them playing a pickpocket. Fast as wind, light as air. Got down to eight. Once more, once more, sail. Or I spend six mana and two cards to kill that thing. Uh, that won't even work, will it? I'd I'd have to play Mystic Shot and Static Shock together. Six, seven, eight, nine. So I can't really play the chump wump. It's too many cards. I have the best job. Alone, we see things as they truly are. Still have room to draw a card. 
So we're okay. We don't have to just like throw down some jury rigs. Where there is life, there is hope. Hmm. That's bad. Just kept getting worse. Draven out. These are four threes. Can't kill them. Not confident we're getting this game. I guess they have the barrier lifelink thing. Um, I think Zuvar, I guess I have to set up I have to set up BTTV. It's something Storm's been telling me to do for a long time. I wanted to have the opportunity to guillotine this thing if this got if they had this thing block the one one. But I also I also really want to target the enemy unit one extra time. Right? So we don't get to do that damage in, but we that gets us the eighth target for Ezreal. And we have a good amount of spells we can cast now with Ezreal. What are they counterfeit copying? Oh, they got the counterfeit copy off the Karma, right? Heart and mind as one. That's good. That's a good card. Lightly, strike hard. There is only four. I'm at 12 mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Ah, uh, yes, Furion, yes, it's, uh, donation decks are $10. Um, yeah, there's, there's an info panel on, uh, on here that kind of says it, but it's just, it's $10, that's the link there. Um, and then, and let me know what, you know, what day, what time slot you want me to play the deck. 
basically it's do they have eight points of burn which really all they need is like four points of burn because of the karma if like they're they're dead that my next turn i'm risking it darn it oh that's not that's not killing me okay they're not killing me not yet good they put me down to two so obviously if they had if they had the burn they would kill me so we're going to So give them some opportunity to draw some puff caps. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? Not really. So basically, if they draw a burn spell, I'm probably dead, but if they don't, we are going to kill them. Because they are dead my next turn. And if if they would have had one, they probably would have displayed one while I was tapped out. Let's see all of it. That's pretty awesome. I, I still think we got... Yeah, like, we should have this. All we need is either... Either one of these two spells to resolve. They have to have two counter spells now. So they they drew a burn spell, but then now they also have to draw. They also have to have two counter spells. Or just another burn spell. Oh! They had another burn spell. I should have just put the one on the stack. No! Yeah, I should have saved one. You're right. Sure. Valerian Blade. Uh, I thought of that like right after, you know, right after I did it and I was starting to say it. You know, I was saying how they had to have two counter spells and I was like, or another burn spell. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Wow. Well, I guess I lost. Dang. That was a crappy way to lose. Well, that was... We don't know what the last card was in hand, but it was very likely, you know, unless it was a deny. What is going on with this deck? Lux, Heimerdinger, Ezreal. Okay. You can always donate, yeah, if you're on, yeah, the donation link's always available. You can donate anytime. Um. I got the kids. Just in the, in the donation message, you know, to send, send like whatever, whatever deck you want and what day you want me to play it, basically. If you, if you have like a, a preference on when I play it. But it's always available. Don't be calling no enforcers. Yeah, one mistake counts as a loss. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we lost. Magic 
has no place here. Okay, an early time is best. Okay. Yeah, so I, I can play it first. So basically, when you donate, just say, you know, whichever day, and then just say, you know, you want it first, and that'll work. All right, I want to give him a hearty breakfast. Because this could be a longer game, you know, like draw more cards. Draw into those puff caps. No Heimerdinger. That's good. A competitive Teemo Puff Cap deck would be sick. Does that count? Um, you know, I like the the Teemo Elusives deck. I think is good. I haven't I haven't played it since the the Navori Conspirator got bumped down to a two two. I like that deck. I I also have like a um, oh what's this deck? What's this deck called? Here, I'll find it for you. Teemo Wayfinder. And this deck is pretty good. No more holding back. Take two. All right, what'd they happen? Okay, so that thermogenic beam, and then that thing. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> yeah, I do not know the the champions too well. What are we doing? Let's just attack with everything. I'm in. This will just do one extra point of damage. Which, I'm okay with that. Every point of damage counts. Down to seven. Got three, four, five, six. I got six points here. There's two more mushrooms. Two more puff caps. They got two puff caps. Get the so we got the two puff cap emote. You. 
Guard Ezreal. Five damage. They're at five. See those puff caps helped out. You know, I don't. We did like what three. Maybe three damage, maybe a little bit more. At least three. So nine and one, so close to the 10-0. So close to the 10-0. If I just didn't, if I were to spread those out, like, you know, we didn't have, um, yeah, no, our opponent didn't really have heal. They didn't have healing cards, those regions too much. Oh man, I played the two Back to back, I should have just waited. I I think we could have had the 10-0. That one sequencing error. A really close match. Oh man. That was close. But still, nine and one is amazing. Yeah, we started at like six hundred or seven hundred, somewhere somewhere in the six seven hundreds for this league. And then yeah, now we're at seventy-two. Yeah, it came down to the stack order at the last moment. So probably could have been 10 and 0. But dang, talk about a really impressive deck. Um yeah, this deck was awesome. I liked it quite a bit. There's basically nothing I didn't like about the deck. It was pretty fun to play and everything too. Um not not super easy to play. You know, a lot of you get a ton of spells, you know, like with the Dravens and that uh you, know, you get tons of the Dravens, the Chumpwoms give you those extra ones. Um, wasn't super easy to play as far as pick it up and go, but it's good. It's a good one. This card is so good. This card's ridiculous. Um, anyway, there we go. Draven Control. Lulu is in the next set. Lulu from Final Fantasy X. They put her in the next set. Uh, anyway, yeah, Draven Control. Those of y'all watched on YouTube, uh, if you could hit the like button and leave a comment. I'd really appreciate both of those. Likes and comments go a long way. Um, let me know how it's going if you play this deck yourself, because this deck is really good. Um, hoping some of y'all out there try it and let me know how it goes, because, yeah, we almost had that 10-0. Um, Anyway, that's Draven Control. Pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.